David Rousseau said, I'm perfectly happy as president of SRP. And then somebody came in and said, how can we make the Super Bowl week the best week that the Super Bowl people in the NFL have ever seen in the 49 years that it's been around? So he accepted the position of chairman of the Super Bowl host committee. And I hope you don't regret it. No, not at all. David, why should no one watching right now, no matter where they are, Page, Arizona, or uh, anywhere in the southern part of the state, why should no one feel left out of Super Bowl week? Well, I think one, we, it's going to be a terrific time of year to rejoice in being from the state. So I would hope that uh, everyone takes advantage of NFL experience, Super Bowl Central, which will be for the week leading up to the game. The Pro Bowl is the week before, which is a very affordable ticket and, uh, again, uh, accessible to a regional uh, audience that exceeds uh, probably the boundaries of our state. Um, and then I think the Super Bowl crowd will show, show up in town, which is great from a from a business perspective, certainly the, the uh, restaurant, hotel business is excited about that influx. But everything that's great about Arizona is certainly going to be on display for, uh, for the, the days and weeks leading up to February 1st. Well, even though you can't predict the outcome of the game, you can certainly tell us what comes first and go into a little bit greater detail. I want everybody to know about why it is that wherever they live in the state, they ought to come here, whether they've got tickets for the game or not. The NFL Experience, for example. Yeah, I think the NFL Experience is a $35 ticket, and it, but it's half a million square feet of every imaginable sponsor activation and, and football-facing uh, item. And so if you're a football fan in the least or, or, uh, or you're just curious, uh, there's reason enough there in addition. The new model, which is ever evolving and hosting Super Bowls, is to throw a big fan fest party the week leading up to the game. And ours is called Super Bowl Central. So we'll have 12 blocks in downtown Phoenix wedged between a cityscape and the convention center that's closed to pedestrian traffic only. And it'll have a, be a mix of networks and sponsors and free concerts throughout the day and then national artists at night. Again, all free. And, and our experience based on other markets is if you uh, have beer and, and free music, uh, people come from uh, far and wide. Well, it's kind of like Mardi Gras with football here. Yeah, exactly. And if you're talking about not only uh, local artists during the day, but national and international stars that will be performing. Yes. Yeah, and I think it's, it's a great opportunity. It's one that our sponsor community has been excited about attaching their name with. And then we have a neat mixture of just the million people that we're envisioning visiting Super Bowl Central uh, during the week leading up to the game, but then the exposure that all of those network cameras will uh, project uh, across the globe. Uh, NBC is the, the broadcast partner for the Super Bowl this year, and they'll build out a studio that'll highlight everybody, every, so every show from uh, Matt Lauer in the morning to Brian Williams for the evening news will be broadcast from Super Bowl Central uh, across from uh, uh, Arrogant Butcher, what's now there. Uh, there has been a rumor that perhaps Mr. Fallon might show up too with The Tonight Show. Yes, so The Tonight Show will be broadcast from the Orpheum Theater, on, uh, which will be a great uh, tribute to all things great about Arizona uh, in terms of that iconic theater. Uh, that's on Sunday night, the uh, night of the game. And then uh, he's hosting the Honors, which is the NFL version of the Oscars on Saturday night in Symphony Hall. Yeah, that means then the entire world is watching us. And by the way, you'll notice World Class Arizona was not included in those media offerings. I'm just too doggone busy. But it sure is going to be fun for everybody. When you're talking about leaving an unforgettable impression, we've got about 30 seconds. So you tell everybody right now about how it is that they can help leave an unforgettable impression on everybody else in the world. 
Well, I just would borrow from my experience, the first Super Bowl experience I had when I was in Indianapolis. And again, they weren't sure as a Midwestern market when they were going to host another game. So they went out of their way to expose everybody to Midwestern hospitality. So I'd say everybody in our state has that sim similar opportunity to really uh, highlight uh, this is a great place to live and work. And to the extent that uh, everybody buys into that, it'll be a great week and one that will hopefully have lots of successes to point to. Yeah, and, and whether it's the East Coast or Indianapolis, we know one thing. It's not going to snow here, but the one thing that I can also add to your plans for December, January, and February, that whole period of time leading up to Super Bowl, February the 1st, is this is a world-class town with world-class events, but only if you participate.